What's up guys, Colton here with Town & Country TV. Today we're at the World of Wheels in Birmingham, Alabama. We've got our booth set up here for TC Customs and we're just kind of out here networking, meeting customers, showing off some of our stuff. But while we're here, we're also going to go around and check out what else we see and let y'all see some of the cool stuff. Before we start the video, I need to let you know, make sure to stay all the way through the end because you're going to see probably the funniest thing you've ever seen with Colton. Just make sure you watch all the way through. So we're here at the Vinny's Hot Rods booth. Um, they're a local uh, restoration shop here in the Alabaster area, kind of Birmingham. Uh, what they did was they took this uh, 69 Bronco. It's on a custom frame. It's got CNC tail lights to try to kind of make it look like the newer Bronco. It's got these beautiful over fenders. It's got a lift, you know, wheels, tires. The doors have been shaved. I'm assuming they're going to do poppers on it. Um, but as we get to the front, something you're going to notice, and it's something that everybody's asking about the new Bronco, are they ever going to put a 5.0 in it? Well, these guys jumped ahead of the game, and this 69 Bronco actually has the Coyote 5.0 motor in it um, this is really trick really awesome this thing completely custom the whole front end is cnc machine to look like the new bronco as well um, custom bumper cnc machine they've got these custom insets this hidden factor 55 winch setup i mean this is super beautiful it's an awesome build it, it's what we like to see you know we love seeing the new broncos but we love seeing these old ones fixed up and this is just an awesome vehicle so over here at the cgs vinyl booth these are actually guys that do all of our custom wrapping you know then our broncos they've done the gt they're our go-to people to get these get these vehicles wrapped you know they do these crazy custom jobs they do just normal clear ppf uh, they're just an awesome company to work with and they do an amazing job so of course we have to stop at this thing. This is a big lifted truck and it may look really big, but really I'm just really short. <laughs> That's just a joke, but uh, this thing's got to have, I mean, a two foot lift on it. It's got a big V8 in it, um, full what looks to be King coolovers. I mean, this is an awesome, super unique build. It's got this beautiful wrap on it, custom grill, these huge tractor tires. Um, those have got to be, let's see what size these are. 14.9 um, by 24. Well, I can't seem to find the size on that, but that has to be at least a 44 inch tall tire. That is a humongous tire on this thing. Let's see if they've got a Bluetooth drive shaft. No, they've actually got all their drive shafts intact. In you know, a lot of people end up taking their drive shafts out to get them this tall, but they've actually flipped the whole uh, front axle so that that pinion angle's better. They also have a brake on the actual diff. It's a diff brake. So a lot of times when you get in these bigger vehicles with these big tires, they actually put diff brakes on there. That way you're not just relying on your brakes that are actually on your wheels. Overall, this is a really unique build and it's really cool. So not a lot of y'all know, I'm kind of a Toyota guy. I do love Fords, but I am a Toyota guy. So I saw this thing and I had to talk about it. Uh, it looks like it's got somewhere around like a three, four inch lift, but it's actually got newer uh, Forerunner wheels on it. Um, this is just a really clean single cab, early 90s, late 80s uh, Tacoma. Um, it's a really awesome vehicle. So as a kid growing up, I loved seeing these things. I played video games. Uh, you know, I picked this car. These are just awesome cars. This one actually has a 427 Cobra motor on it. What looks to be uh, supercharged as well. So this thing's probably making some serious power. Um, we had a car show at our dealership one time, and someone actually brought one of these. And I think Josh will insert the video here, but. Uh, it was quite the event when it showed up. Wow. These are really awesome vehicles. Uh, you know, a lot of times these end up with, with Ford motors in them, as is this one. Um, but yeah, super cool car, super light, super fast, and uh, really eye-catching. So here we are with this uh, JL Jeep. As you can see, it's got a lift on it. Uh, the owner said it was either a three or four inch uh, lift kit. Um, looks like Falcon shocks on it. Um, these are some massive 38 inch tires on some black rhino wheels um, what's really cool about this that they've really went into depth on doing is they've upgraded the whole wiring harness so it can handle a larger alternator to handle all the sound system they have in this thing and and that's kind of a big point of this thing it's got beautiful custom leather it's got these beautiful speakers in here um, this is a really awesome build they've really went really into detail to get this thing to look right you know upgraded uh, radio head unit they've got all the carbon fiber in there they've got this hijack on here step rails i mean this is a full out build it's got this fastback dv8 off-road top um, this is a really awesome vehicle i really like what they've done with it uh, custom bumpers winch i mean they really went uh, over and beyond to get this thing to look the way it does and they really turned it out real good um yeah uh, you know we respect all makes and models and this definitely is an awesome looking vehicle here we are with what i think is the biggest truck that we're going to see here this is a 53 inch tire there's no telling how big this lift is it's hard to see but they've actually put some mirrors on the hood of the truck so you can see that massive motor in there um, it's got this bass boat paint job with 
beautiful chrome bumpers, uh, clear headlights. This is a crazy looking vehicle. Uh, one thing I do want to point out though is it doesn't have its front drive shaft. So the four wheel drive is kind of useless in this thing. Um, once you get up this big, it's, it's really hard to, to keep that and have your pinion angle right and the thing not actually bind up on you. So I personally love uh, all kinds of racing. You know, motorsports is kind of my background. Um, dirt bikes, cars, anything. Um, so I love seeing these purpose-built vehicles. I can tell that this is now a, a show car, but this was originally built to race. Um, it was built in 1968, um, custom ordered, built by Budmore Engineering. It is an original 302 Boss. Um, this is just really cool to see. They've kind of got the same livery as when it started out. They kind of try to keep it true to its racing heritage, but this is a really awesome build, super clean. You know, still got the cage in there. You know, it's got for its time, the correct racing seat and all that. And it's really cool to see these period correct race cars. Uh, you just don't see it a lot. A lot of times these cars just turn into strict show cars. So here are again with another movie featured vehicle. Um, again, I said earlier, I love Toyotas, but all in all, I love Toyotas. Again, I love movie vehicles. And this is one that kind of touches kind of close because I love the Back to the Future movies and, and seeing this thing in person up close like this, this is really awesome. But they not only have the uh, the Toyota here, they actually have the DeLorean um, and they've went above and beyond to make this thing look super uh, correct and everything. They've got the hoverboard, they've got these printouts of re-election, the year fired, they've got the newspaper. They really, really did an amazing job um, pulling these things together and making them look very movie correct. And uh, I really appreciate all this work that they've done so that they can kind of show these things off. Here we are with another big lifted truck, crazy livery. Um, this is actually owned by Wrecker Service. It's kind of super local to Birmingham, Bessemer area where we're from. Um, it's got the same tires as the other one. I think they were 53 inch tall tires. It's got these side edge exhausts. It's got these custom step rails so you can actually get in this thing. That'll help you out a lot. It does have both its drive shaft, so it is still four wheel drive. Um, really awesome build. They actually did it to match their tow trucks. If Josh wants to throw some footage in real quick, they've got one of their tow trucks over here as well. They did an awesome job with this. Again, it's very period correct. It's got the chrome. It's got you know the big wheels and tires. Um, the roll bar. I love seeing, again, these period correct builds. They're not taking this thing and trying to look, make it look modern. They're really trying to tie it into when it was made. Here we are in one of the halls, and specifically this hall has been nicknamed Jeep Invasion. It's really cool to see this many modified vehicles of the same brand and, and you know, put together here with all these modifications. What I'm really looking forward to in the near future is to see if we get one of these for Broncos. Once customers start getting them, they're able to modify them, uh, just to see if, if we, you know, the Broncos will be able to compete in numbers with these Jeeps will just be an amazing thing. Um, while we're here though, look at this thing, man. This thing is, is all done up. You know, it's, it's out here flexed out on top of this other Jeep. Uh, you can see this, just this amount of compression it can get. Um, it's got all kinds of steering bars, upgraded tie rods, tie rod ends, linkages, steering stabilizers. I mean, this thing has been done up. It looks like it's very, very capable. Um, these these uh, step rails are really nice. The step rails as also are rock slides. Um, got some dirty life wheels on here. What looks to be 37 inch tires. Um, this is a really cool build, definitely purpose built, definitely used. Um, just a really awesome build. And again, it's really awesome to see this many vehicles of one brand come together like this. All right guys, so here you are with a C8 Corvette. Um, this thing's super modified. It looks like it's got an Optimus Prime kind of theme going on with it. It's got a lot of red, a lot of blue, a lot of gray. Um, super modified, super cool. He's even got his own little die cast car right here to, to look like it. The reason we're mentioning this is we've actually had a few people ask us if the GT is a, is a new Corvette. And you kind of can see the similarities. Um, a lot of these supercars kind of go by a formula and, you know, don't fix what ain't broke. If it works, you know, design it, you know, kind of in that formula in your own way and, and, and make them look the way you want them to while still being able to perform correctly. This mid-engine uh, platform has kind of been the go-to for hypercar, supercars. Uh, this is the, the, the new world of performance for sure. All right, so you know we had to do it. We found probably the coolest Mustang here, probably definitely the most customized. This is what they're calling a Boss 600. And that's because it has a 600 cubic inch motor in it that's making 1,023 horsepower. Um, you can see they spared no expense. Everything's completely different. The front end, the paint job, the motor, they have custom brakes on here. Um, this thing is just awesome. It's got tons of flake in it. It's got aftermarket wheels. The interior's completely different. It's got a roll cage in it. I mean, this is this is a, a race show car is what I can say. And, and what looks, looks to be something that definitely could perform while still coming here and looking awesome. Uh, it's got this side exit exhaust. 
Look at those massive rear wheels. Those have to be 16 inches wide. That's a lot of meat to be putting down on the ground. Um, and I'm sure it needs every bit of that to accelerate and to stop. So we're here at what looks to be, you know, kind of a Mustang uh, car club's booth. Um, we've got a 95 Mustang here, but I really want to focus on are these Fastbacks. Sorry, not Fastbacks, <laughs> Fox Bodies. I don't know why I said that. Um, I'm actually a big sucker for these Fox Body Mustangs. They're one of my favorite Mustang body styles. Um, really, really love the new ones, but these, these uh, <clears throat> Fox Bodies really have a place in my heart for some reason. I don't know where it came from, but they just look sleek. They look really nice. I think that a lot of their designs are ahead of their time. Um, and again, we're kind of getting back to that fastback look as well. Um, maybe not quite the same. It's not a full open trunk, but yeah, these are these are some really awesome vehicles, and it's cool to see you know a whole group of people out here who share the, share the same passion um, building cars like this. So this is definitely one of the more interesting vehicles I've seen here. Um, I've actually never heard of this. It's a 19. What did it say? 1991 Nissan Figaro. I've again never seen one of these. I'd, doesn't look like anything that I've ever seen in the States, honestly. Uh, it is right-hand drive, so it does lead me to believe that it's an imported vehicle, but this thing is immaculate. Um, looks really nice. I, if I had to guess, this has to be some sort of Italian sporty car. It's got a turbo Nissan motor in here. If y'all know anything about this, comment below. Let us know what, what y'all think about this, if you've ever seen this, where this thing's from. This is a really interesting vehicle uh, that I don't think a lot of people have ever seen. So another quick honorable mention is going to be this booth. These are two of the craziest vehicles I've ever seen. This is a lifted hearse, uh, 1982 Cadillac to be exact. Um, Think about driving this thing you're definitely going to get some uh some attention having this thing on the road um, and the thing right behind it goes kind of right along with it this is a casket race car um it's got these fat tires this big motor um this thing probably gets down pretty well and you're in a casket i guess if if you're gonna go that's you're already there you know this is just a quick honorable mention. If you've ever been to a movie theater or seen any movies, you probably recognize this vehicle right here. Um, it's not the craziest thing, but it is really cool. For the last two vehicles, I'm gonna steal the camera back and show you my two favorite. And it's gonna be obviously the 2021 Ford GT. As you can see, it is in the liquid carbon gray color. And we've got the SunTech map PPF uh, that was wrapped by a huge thanks to CGS Vinyl out here in Pelham, Alabama. So huge thanks for us uh, helping us get the car to the show, but also making it look sick underneath those show lights. And then also my 2021 Bronco Badlands and a huge thanks to every single person involved in helping get this vehicle built in time for the show. Now. As I promised to you in the beginning of the video, is we are going to make Colton get on the mechanical bull. Come on. <laughs> right now, he, he has absolutely no idea that it's coming. All right, let's go. <laughs> are you nervous? No. <laughs> All right, I guess we got to go around to the other side, and it looks like there's a little bit of a line, so let's go ahead and jump on that mechanical bull. Okay, so what have you got for us, Emily? All right, so we ran a poll on Instagram and asked, um, who should ride the bull, Mitchell or Colton? So I think Mitchell has to get on the mechanical bull. <laughs> I did not know. Okay, I guess I guess we're both riding it. Yeah, so uh, so Instagram did a poll and they wanted me to ride it too. Oh, so no. I guess I wonder who's going first. <laughs> I'll go first. <laughs> Well done! <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Oh wow, that is so Uh huh. All right, well, I was not expecting to ride the mechanical bull, well, but me either. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's what I get for trying to punk Colton. That's so. right. Anyways, guys, if that doesn't, uh, if the cars didn't get your thumbs up, your like on the video, please at least do it for the mechanical bull. That's so, right. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you had a little bit of fun, saw some cool cars. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel with the bell notification turned on so you don't miss a single video. Peace. Peace.